hope you all are doing well this morning. Today is Tuesday, September 20th. We're getting closer and closer to uh, Rosh Hashanah. And I do hope everyone's right. <coughs> Excuse me. I do hope everyone's right. Uh, we shall see in the next few days, right? This morning... I do got to admit, I did look over this, glance over the devotional this morning. And it says, a purpose-driven life. And I I really like it this morning, which there's not too many, or there's not any, that I don't like that we've done this whole year. I can't believe we are, we've about finished our book. We have just a little bit more, a few more months till the end of this year. It's crazy. But let's see what our devotional says this morning about a purpose-driven life. Psalm chapter 57, verse 2. Cry out to God most high, to God who fulfills his purpose for me. Psalm chapter 33, verse 11. The plans of the Lord stand firm forever. The purposes of his heart through all generations. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 24. The Lord of hosts has sworn, as I have planted, so shall it be. And as I have purposed, so shall it stand. Exodus chapter 9, verse 16. I have raised you up for this very purpose, that I might show you my power, and that my name might be proclaimed in the earth. That's an important verse. So let me read that again. He has raised you up for this very purpose, for the end times that we're in, that he might show you his power and that he might be proclaimed in all the earth. He wants us to proclaim his name in all the earth. Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 9. Great are your purposes and your might, and mighty are your deeds. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Let me read that again. Great is your purposes and mighty are your deeds. Your eyes are open to the ways of all mankind. You, re you reward each person according to their conduct and as their deeds deserve. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 4. The Lord has made everything for its purpose. The Lord has made everything for its purpose. The Lord made you for a purpose. Romans chapter 8, verse 28. We know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose for them. Okay, another important verse. We know that God causes everything to work together. Everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to His purpose. Okay, not our purpose, His purpose. Psalm chapter 143, verse 10. Teach me to do your will. For you are my God. Let your good spirit lead me on level ground. That's a good one. We should pray that every day. Teach me to do your will. For you are my God. Teach me, Lord, to do your will. For you are my God. Let your good spirit lead me on level ground. And at the bottom, it says, Your primary goal in life is, is to help bring God's kingdom to earth. But maybe you have also recently pondered on what your secondary or specific purpose is. What is your calling? That thing you were born to do. That thing that only you can do that gives meaning to your life. God has the key to the meaning of your life. You will discover the meaning in your relationship with him through the Spirit, discover that place where your life finds meaning and you'll find 
eternal life. And that is a very good devotional this morning. Uh, we were all created. God created us all for his purpose. And I do believe whether you live to be 100 years old or a young child pass away, even the youngest child had served its purpose. Okay? Every creation of God's has a purpose. You have a purpose. Our main purpose, our number one purpose, is to spread God's word. To tell people about Jesus. That is our main purpose. Every, every person on this earth. That is the purpose that God has made them for. Whether they do it or not. That's, that's up to them. That's that free will. So don't put... Don't put your desires and what your flesh wants above the purpose that God has put you here for. Okay? That's the best advice I can give anybody. Don't put your, your wants. Does Ida have wants? Of course I do. Of course I do. Um... Does Ida want to do things, specific things in life? That she, um, of course, we all do. But the thing is, are we putting God first and what his purpose is for us as our number one priority? Think about it. Are you putting him first? Are you telling people about Jesus every opportunity that you get? Put him first. His purposes come first. Ours is secondary, okay? Everything in this life, everything is to glorify God. Okay? Everything. Don't forget that. I know our flesh tends to... Uh, want fleshly things or um, even these devotionals every morning, you know. Sometimes my flesh is like, oh, you're too tired to do that. You're too tired to get up that early. You're too tired to um, get up that early and spend time with God, you know, before everybody else. You can you can make time sometime throughout the day. You don't have to get up early. But no, that, that's my flesh. Because really, there is, there is, sometimes your day can get very hectic, very hectic, and you put God to the side. Right? Right? Think about it. If you put off doing what God wants, you're putting your flesh first. I could put, and I use myself as an example. I could lay in the bed. I could lay in the bed and not get up early, not get my quiet time with God. Uh, just put it off that, oh, I could do it some uh, sometime during the day if the day don't get hectic, you know. And uh, yeah, that's the flesh. That's the flesh. Okay. We have to. Put God first. Sacrifice. Deny yourself. Take up your cross. Do that sacrifice. Take up your cross. And do what the Lord wants. Okay. Alright. I love you guys. And I hope you got something out of this. Please leave me a comment. I love reading your comments. I really, really do. Um... And as always, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that like button, okay? Or dislike if you didn't like it. Uh, but don't forget to hit the like or dislike. Uh, share and subscribe if you would like. And hit the notification button, of course. Uh, and 
if I don't see you in the next video. I do seriously hope very, very, very soon that our purpose is fulfilled and Jesus calls us to meet him in the clouds. I hope that that is very soon. But until then, guys, tell people about Jesus. Time is very short. Have that compassion in your heart for the souls that's here. Don't stay focused on a date. You know, don't stay focused on a date. Like, oh, I'm going to be raptured day after tomorrow, you know. Don't stay focused on that. Until his time, his timing is different than ours. Remember that. Until his time to call us home be doing his purpose that he has for you and tell people about him help expand god's kingdom because that's our main purpose start doing that make that your priority bring more people into the kingdom tell them more people about jesus instead of focusing on when exactly he's going to come okay instead of trying to predict a date Get more people into the kingdom because that's our purpose. Okay? Have that compassion. I don't want to see anybody not make it. Not make it. I don't want to see anybody left here. I don't want to see anybody burn for eternity. I don't want to see that. So tell as many people as you can about Jesus while we're still here. Okay? I love you guys. And I hope you have a very blessed day.